This strip mall uh, has a little tea place here. This is the Mermaid Matcha. Look at the colors on this thing. But I'm really here because they have Cyber Sage. Uh, it would just be easier to take a video of the uh, up close. That's much better. Cyber Sage video games. Let's check them out. Right when you walk in, got the Space Invaders on the wall and a couple of games. Let's look around the corner. Ooh, there we go. Look at this. First thing I always like to do is find the glass case. Got the old school Nintendo logo. There are Nintendo games in here, but I want to show some love to my Sega Master System right up front with a few Jaguar games too. A couple of Sega CD games right on top. They got Who Shot Johnny Rock. I wouldn't mind finding a copy of Who Shot Johnny Rock. It's been a while since I played it. And of course, the uh, kids on site gotta love that too. How are we doing for Nintendo games? NES games, prices are good. Not sure if there's anything I need, need. But always fun to see. Dr. Chaos, maybe. Short Order Explode, maybe. I do love me some Rolling Thunder as well. Alphabetically stacked, looks like. And I like how they have the prices right on the game. That's always a positive. They do have Legend of the Ghost Lion. Wouldn't be bad. Hmm. Couple of CIB games, too. Got the DS down the way. That was my knee, by the way. <laughs> that's, that's where I am. Secret Agents, Tunnel Runner, Ladybug, Pac-Man 4K. That's interesting. Curious to see. Oh, I love Star Boy here. Microsurgeon, nice. And a few more games down the way too, like Pac-Man Jr. What do we need? Um, hmm. Some great games here too. Did you ever check out a? Uh, well, I love Elite Beat Agents, but. Did you ever check out that uh, Thundercats? What I'm looking at right here, I used to love this game. Room 215. I gotta play through that again sometime soon. Oh, Meteos is a great one too. Random max of accessories, including an Xbox faceplate. See, and I love finding stuff like this. The Docking Bay Nintendo Entertainment System for Game Packs. Kinda have this retractable. You keep your games in there. You know, if you have like, what, 10 games? Something like that? Keep it nice and secure and dust free. Just like that. Oh, what is this? It's a model kit from Japan, maybe? Oh. You yeah, have some more Stacks O Atari games, including a favorite of mine, Moon Patrol. It looks like these are stacked by, like, not genre or alphabetical, but like style. Like the, here are the US games games. Here are, you know, here's Blueprint, one of my favorites. Uh, if even a few ColecoVision, oh man, Cole I have a lot of fond memories with ColecoVision. I loved how they actually put the logo, like, not just text, but like the actual logo of the game on the side of the thing. Oh <laughs> man, I'm seeing a whole lot of Journey Escape recently. Yeah, just a few bar games down here. We could just show those really quick. Anything over here? A few of the Game Gear, a few of the Sega Genesis. Oh, Beavis and Butthead's a good Sega Genesis game. I prefer the uh, Genesis version of Jurassic Park to the Super Nintendo as well. Got some loose uh, Master System and Genesis down the way, too. Got a few loose one of those. A few loosey looseys. Oh, they do have Futurama on the original Xbox. Futurama is such a great game. I'm glad it's, not that I'm glad it's up in price, but it's worth it because <laughs> it's so fun. I just absolutely love it. I'm a huge Futurama fan, though. Ooh, ooh. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Got the. Uh, Got the, there, 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 there. Got a few Super Nintendo games down the way as well. More down there too. And the Engage, and you're just like, Engage? I don't even have an Engage. Well, there's one. Got one right there for you. Can I go for a complete Engage set? <laughs> you can. There's a couple things up here too. Hmm, fun. Got some PS3 going on. We'll go check out the Wii games as well. I like these racks here. Do you see anything you need? If you do, call them. Tell me you need it. Okay. <laughs> nice, Mario. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a fun one. I like that. Got those ones there, too. And the four-player tap. What are you hiding from me? <laughs> Was that, oh, call it Wonder Swan. No, yeah, I think Wonder Swan. Wonder Swan and Famicom Disk System. Here's where the good stuff is. My goodness. You got the limited run stuffs. That's cool. I like that. It's so hard to get like stuff traded in. Like, one of the things we try to specialize is in like the limited run and the right. import stuff. It's the best way to do it, uh, especially with the limited run stuff, because 
I mean, like, I don't even like pre-order anything anymore. I was just like, well, I'll get it, I'll get it when it comes out because there's, you know, you or other game stores and, you know, where I live and, you know, or just, just see them at conventions. I mean, yeah, if I really, really need something, then sure, I'll put in the pre-order. But, you know, I'm happy just, it's like, oh, it, it's out now? You know, all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll find one and grab it. I that Panzer Paladin. That was a fun one. I got a couple of them. I've got Asteroids on vinyl. Is it just like the eh, 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 no. eh, 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 like the Atari like a, one? Like a story. It's like a. Oh, how fun! Kind of like a bedtime story. I think it's just like somebody talking. It's sealed. <laughs> I've never played it. Okay. <laughs> no, maybe somebody put it on YouTube or something. I don't know. But yeah, just to, just to have it, anyways. Oh yeah, right. So, An exciting story Hol adventure. Florida. All right. So a local. Uh, Fun. I've never even heard of that. So it's like the world's of power. It's like it was loosely inspired by kind of you know whatever. I love these uh, prints on the wall too. That's a really nice one up there as well. <laughs> it's a good one. Give people reason to come here. Yeah, but I always like I always like any game store that promotes the uh, the local shows. So thank you for that. All right, right when you walk in, <laughs> and we're gonna see this at the convention. Yeah, that's uh, so cool. That's one thing I don't have, so. I mean, right next to it is this, uh, what is it? The iPanic Escape Room. I just thought that was pretty cool to have like those things right up front anyway. Because right next to the Escape Room is Game Attic. Game Attic, literally inside this mall. I mean, like we're literally at the mall. But inside here, uh, video games, Funkos, statuettes, statues, toys, and, and video games. Let's, why am I going that way? I need to go this way. I already see some awesome stuff here just by coming in. What do I see over here? 25 for Saturday Night Slam Masters. Love the raid in there. All right, all right. Got a few things on the bottom as well. 40 on Seventh Saga. I'm down for that. Yeah, there's some. Oh, Rifle Turf is only 15. Such a good game. I'm down for all of these. Out to lunch. <laughs> this one I don't, one I don't quite have. I'm always down for Spanky's Quest as well. All right, cool. I love it. It's become a thing where the games in the cases are getting more and more toys on top, so you can't quite see what they are without like pushing stuff out of the way. But you can kind of see what they are, I guess. But they also have Saturn down the way, Panzer Dragoon Saga. Got the loose games down here too. Hmm. Spiritual Warfare on the Genesis. The other side has the NES games, including Ultimate Stuntman, and there's even a Dragon Warrior 3. I see a Darkwing Duck back there. A few things over here, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these are no complaints from me. It's a, not the Five Screw Goonies 2. I always gotta check, just in case. <laughs> and hopefully you do, too, whenever you see a Goonies 2. Ah, just to see, you know, just, just in case they don't know. Because maybe you don't know. Maybe you know and they don't know. That's gotta be okay. I don't know. So 200 on Toxic Crusaders. Is that what it's going for now? 200 on Toxic Crusaders? Maybe. Love these rental cases too. Oh, these are for ColecoVision. I see. ColecoVision down the way. And then the Atari Jaguar going for 400. Man, not too often you're going to just find like loose turbo games just right here in the case at the store here. That's so cool to see. That's so cool to see. I don't know, just like at the mall. Imagine this, I like go into the mall, there's a place that has like Turbo Duo games, or TurboGrafx-16 games, or PC Engine games, looks like, in a couple of cases. Neat 64, Neat 64, what are you gonna look for when you look for Neat 64? It's always kind of weird with like the glass case too, because sometimes it wants to focus. Sometimes it wants to focus on the glass or the reflection and not the games themselves. Got a decent little PS4 collection selection here. Decently on the PS4 selection, along with the Xbox 360 on three Xbox and Wii more down the way. Let's see what we got for GameCube over here. What's good on GameCube? You know, I just saw Bam the last weekend, but now I'm like, do you have the Tony Hawk game on that? <laughs> I'll buy it now, so if I'll get him to sign it next time I see him. Oh, I see what they're doing. They're doing the they put the uh, the games in the long cases. That's fine. I do love me some loaded Metal Gear Solid. That's the VR missions too. That's awesome. Ever play PO'd. It's kind of a fun one. Just a few games for Sega CD. And then here are the, and these are probably the loose ones, I'm guessing. And then onto the uh, the games that still have the uh, jewel cases. 
for the rest of the PS3 or PS1. Why would I say PS3? That's weird. That's kind of fun. They also just have like tons of toys, tons of figures, tons of models and stuff. I'm just loving these anime figures. Some really neat things in this glass case over here too. Like the Robotech, the Alice in Wonderland you saw. Can I work on with my issue anyway? It's like live action -y hamster cars. <laughs> like the Switch selection here too. I like this switch selection. It's literally called a fluffy puffy mine. No, it's a nice case. Ooh, boy. They have a Kid Dracula here. Oh, they have a few things. They have the Kid Dracula, there's a Mega Man, got uh, the Turtles 3, that's the Metroidvania version. And then you have just a lot of other stuff here too. As well as more Game, oh, these are, these are the Premier GameCube, I see. So the good GameCube, they don't just leave land on the shelf. You gotta ask for that specifically. I don't blame them. Unfortunately, I don't blame them. That's what the nonstop DS stuff too. Do you love me some DS and the 3DS too. Well, well, well. Factory sealed on the uh, four swords. That's not bad. That's so good right there too. Ooh, the fire. I spy a conga. I got the uh, PS5 behind the shelf and other newer stuff back here too. Which is neat. Yeah, and they even got the uh, little candy cap too. And then more of the uh, Switch back here too, just to see what they have. When you look down, you got the PSP stuff. Like the PSP stuff, including, oh, nicely done. Got that. Ooh, and a the reshelled Master System shell, Game Gear reshell, recapped. That's super fun to see. I like that. But then you also have just the other, you know, other stuff down here too. Awesome. Nice selection here. Oh, then here's the better. Oh, we were just talking about this at the other store. The, I, I bought Tobol number one just for the uh, Final Fantasy VII demo disc. I didn't even play Tobol number one for like two months because I was too busy playing just having for the demo disc. But when I finally talked, then turned out it was a very good game. Turned out it was a very good game. You want a hot take? Chrono Cross is better than Chrono Trigger. There you go. Nice. There's some neat stuff back here. This is where all the good stuff is. Look at the long box. There's no assault rigs, but what are you going to do? Nice, dude. And again, there's just so much of these figures up top, down below. That's super, super, super cool. Show me, show me, show me. Oh, you do. That looks pretty. Very pretty. Still in the box, too. That's a clean copy. That's clean. Yeah, the handout itself looks really nice. Nice. Yeah, I, be I believe it. Good. Well, props to whoever took care of it, because most people didn't. I love that wood one. I love the I love that uh, the wood grain uh, SP there. It's a custom show. No, that's awesome. And it, and it costs a little bit like more. Uh oh. Because it's high quality. But yep. yeah, check out the feel like in your hand. Oh, see that's that's the marketing trick. Once I have it in my hand, I don't want to give it back. But feel the texture of it, the triggers. It's themselves. a it's a it's a little match. The the triggers seem a little bit more cl respond not clicky but responsive. I do like that. But the texture feels. Really I do nice like that. that you show. you can't. I can't compare that to anything else. It's like a pearl, kind of finish on that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah only one guy. Man. Makes those shows, so. And it's a 101. Yeah. I mean, come on. No, that's that's really nice. I I do like that. I really should get a Jinxie though. For the, you know, the one reason purpose. Oh, you got all, <laughs> you got all kinds of stuff back here too. Oh man. Dude, that Skeletor bus is insane. That's like human sized. Well, yeah, it's pretty nice. It's cool that they have the tubs here too. Not too often do you see stores with tubs. You always see the Funkos. And yeah, they have like no lack of Funkos and stuff like that too. But you don't often see places with the tubs. We need to see more tubs. Oh, there are a slew of different consoles here, including the XI. Oh, I almost just walked right by the Vector X. It's like perfectly fit in this case too. It's like the perfect size for it. That's nice. That's cool. That's nice too. I like that. And so many more figures down the way as well. 